When Hamas militants started their multi-prong offensive on Israel in the early hours of Saturday morning, civilian settlements were some of their main targets. By the time the attack was over, more than 1,000 people were dead. Four days on from this horrific assault, survivors are still processing what happened and grieving the loved ones and neighbors they lost. They came into every home, they came into every, every room, every place. Uh, those they couldn't uh, take out and, and murder. They would burn the, uh, the house with them inside so they can die. They shot children, babies, old people, anywhere. No one was uh, safe from it. The first victim was a nine-year-old woman who was sitting on a porch, saw them coming, and she got shot. We were in this panic room for, I think, about over 30 hours. Uh, and then they broke uh, windows, starting, started shooting everywhere. Um, I think at some point they shot at the, the door of the panic room. Bodies are still scattered on the ground of some Israeli settlements as the army starts to assess the devastation. During the assault, Hamas kidnapped more than 100 people, and concern for their safety is growing as the militants threaten to execute some of their hostages if airstrikes on civilians in Gaza continue without warning.